Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are going to turn in Uranus into a star so yeah this is like one of the last planets we have left now apart from Mars I think that's the only one we have left so today we are going to be doing Uranus into a star so this should be pretty interesting because we have never done this and we're going to make it into a different size so we're going to give it about 10 masses of sun I want to do and then we're also going to make it let's make it quite luminous as well let's see what real damage we can do so yeah, let's start off with our normal process of um, turning it into a gas, or into a star, to say. It's already a gas giant, so we can go ahead and do that. So, let's go to Uranus down here. Actually, we can throw a planet 9 into it to start off with, so why not? Wait, where'd that one go? Right, there it is. Yeah, let's start throwing these guys in here, so have some gas giant collisions. Because usually in these episodes when we do, like, rocky planets, we can't really... We don't really see too much gas giant like, explosions, because it always glitches out and stuff like that. But today, hopefully it will work better, so... Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, cool. Whoa, that got big fast. Look how fast it's going. Damn. Yeah, that Uranus just got very, very big. Okay, let's also throw some regular Uranuses in there. Let's just spam them in there and make it bigger and bigger. Okay, looking good. Damn. Look at this thing. It's massive already. Can we throw a Saturn in there? Oh, we can. Wow, okay. Even a Jupiter would fit in this. This has got really big quickly. Look at that. Oh, my God. So... Wow, that's got some massive holes, explosions on it there. So let's start to um, spam some Jupiters in. And just so we can see everything a little easier, we'll put it on studio mode so we can actually see all this. So why is this side of Jupiter getting all messed up? Oh, okay, seriously? How did it just disappear? That, that made no sense. Okay, let's go and add it back. Seriously? I hate it when it does that. Okay, so let's put it back in the middle there. Let's give it 10 massive Jupiter and hopefully that will fix it. So 10 massive Jupiter. So it should be very big now. Okay, let's make it bigger as well. Let's make it, let's make it 80,000 kilometers in size, like that. Okay, hopefully that'll work. Uh, okay, it just disappeared. You guys saw that. Nothing even hit it. There's something weird going on here. So, okay, let's just make it 100,000 kilometers. So, hopefully that'll fix it. Bang it. Uh, no, not 10,000. 100,000. There we go. Okay, no, no, that's not okay. What is going on here? Why is it doing that? That's just not cool. So now we've just got a bunch of Jupiters in here, but let's add the Uranus back. Come on, that's so annoying. Okay, so do we just make it... Let's give it, I don't know, 10 Jupiters. A bit realistic size. I don't know why this is all bugged out. So, one full 30,000 kilometers. Now that should eat that up. Come on, you know you want to. Just eat it up. <laughs> so hopefully all this will collide in Uranus here, making a massive mark on it. But there we go, that's what we want. So pretend Uranus didn't disappear. This is what we should have by now. So look at that. Well, oh, that's a massive impact mark from all those Jupiters. Look at that. Damn. Oh, the colour of it is ruined. Also, guys, I will very soon be turning this Uranus. Because I know you guys weren't too keen on this customization, So I will turn it into this colour instead here. Because I know a lot of people did like this to be a custom Uranus instead. Like this blue. Because it looks more like the real Uranus when I did that video on it. But for now, we'll keep it as the green just for this video, it's probably be the last you see it in like this thing or this custom object being the star of the show because yeah, I'm gonna change it soon. Okay, oh, we're starting to warm up into a brown dwarf now, maybe. Yeah, two thousand. Yeah, that's probably turned to a brown dwarf. So Jupiter, for just to show one in at a time, just to make it not too crazy. So start throwing a bunch of these guys in. Now we should be able to start eating some big exoplanets. So this is bigger than. I think this is bigger than HD. Oh, it's bigger than the largest exoplanet. Okay, so if we throw that there, who's going to win? So Uranus versus this guy. Well, it looks like it's eating HD 100546B there. Look at it. Oh, and it's gone. So this this is a very, very large gas giant now. I'm surprised it's not even turned into a star yet. Wait, hang on. What? What is going on here? It came out the other side. What? We've broken the game. Is it gone now? I think it's gone. Yeah, it got bigger there. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's gone. There's all the explosions from it. Okay, so we can throw some very large exoplanets in here. Look at this. Oh, okay, now that, that's not okay. You guys saw there, Uranus was way bigger. So, that is a glitch it needs fixing, if you ask me. That should be fixed. Why is it doing that? Like, just why? 200,000? Well, it's even bigger than that. Let's go 600,000. Oh, no, that's too big. No, like that. Ah, uh, well, we'll leave it as a star for now. There we go. So now what we want to do is, we put it, okay, now we don't want that, so let's delete that. Okay, so we're going to put this guy to, let's make it 
8,000. Like, let's do 7,000. Let's just have a white star. Something like that. Nice and bright. So, we'll just call it Uranus, like that. We'll give its luminosity. So, if we hit play now. So, we've got a um, supernova in the middle, apparently. Well, that's been deleted, so I don't know why it's still there. So, luminosity. So, we need to check that. So, this thing is luminosity is on zero. So, we're going to make it... Hmm, let's go... Let's make it 10 mass of sun. So, let's give it some decent mass here. So, 10 masses of sun. It's already a decent size, but we'll make it a little bigger. But how large is this? Is the sun bigger than this? We need to make it a decent, more realistic size. So, the sun is... Okay, the sun's a little smaller, so... What's what's about 10 luminosity of sun? Rigel, maybe? Let's just compare it to this star, Spicer, since it's a similar size. So, Spicer is about 1,300 suns. So, let's give this thing... Since it is a white star, it won't be as bright. So, let's give it 7,000 luminosity of sun. So, and I know what... Not what, 7,000 suns. That's what we want. So, 7,000 like that. So, 7,000 temperature, 7,000 luminosity of sun. Why is that supernova still in there? Like, seriously? Why is it... Go away, supernova. Can we, like, select it, maybe? Where is this supernova? It's, like, bugged out. Um, can I delete it? There we go, got rid of it. Alright, so now, we've got a very, very bright Uranus in the solar system. And what the heck has gone on here? Oh, it's already started vaporizing stuff. Okay. Wow, that is, that's pretty powerful, but yeah, it's already started vaporizing objects. That's just 7,000 suns, so if we look at the Hattel zone here... Yeah, this guy's pretty big to our very small sun here, so poor, poor sun. So Uranus is going to destroy the solar system now. What's up with all the trails? Let me turn that. I don't know why it's all like that. So delete trails. There we go. So now if we hit play, we're going to start to see what kind of damage is going to unfold when we um, start speeding this up. So let's do this. Oh, oh. What's it doing? It's killing all the orbits. Oh my god. Is it just vaporized the entire inner so Oh my god, it has as well. So the entire inner solar system has just been vaporized by this guy. Wow, that's a new conclusion. We've never had that in one of these episodes before. Maybe it's just the brightest ever star I've done this episode. I've never done I've never made a bright star in these episodes in the latest build of the game, but the entire inner solar system has been eliminated and a lot of the dwarf planets are gone as well. So how s is Se even Sedna? Now that is very rare. It's very rare in these videos that Sedna gets really, really hot. How's, even Planet Nine. Wow, that is that is crazy. So it's on realistic mode. Is it receiving any sunlight though? Let's have a look here. So zero degrees. So it does receive sunlight, and that is very red. What? Why is it so red like that? Yeah, but it is receiving sunlight. So looking good. So even Planet Nine at this distance is getting warmed up. So. This Uranus here is going to eliminate the solar system pretty quick. So let's speed up time. Let's see where it will go. So is it on a crash course with the sun? So we're going at the fastest we can run the simulation at. So looks like all the objects are drifting out into nowhere now. I don't even know. It looks like they're all leaving the system. But that's pretty weird. So what is going to happen? Are they heading towards each other here? Let's have a look. Can't really speed it up too fast, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait, I'm assuming. Actually, no, we can use these options, actually. So if we go to tools, is it? No, it's simulation options. Do this. And so Jupiter looks like it's orbiting the sun still. So if we just make it... Which option is it here? Accuracy. So let's um, pause it. Let's turn that automatic tolerance off. Let's make it speed up a little bit, so, so we can see the outcome of this a little more. So slow down time, just so we can see everything. So we'll travel a few months. Now we'll hit play. Now it will speed up quicker. So this is what we want. So this isn't position locked, is it? Oh, no, it is. So if we turn that off. I don't know why it's position locked anyway. But if we turn it off. Oh, it's because it was a different to the original Uranus. I need to fix that. So uh, yeah, now this is moving. And it should be on a crash course with the sun, maybe. So the sun is drifting this way. But it looks like this is being drawn towards the sun. So is it going to impact the sun and cause a supernova? Because these objects are already burnt a lot. So that's all good. So... They're, they're not even orbiting the sun anymore, so let's quickly go and press auto orbit just to see what we'll have. So let's go to here and auto orbit. So now everything should be in orbiting, but we're going to put this on zero velocity. Like that, so it should be on a crash course with the sun. Okay, this, is the sun orbiting actually? Or is it. So the sun is orbiting, so we'll put that on zero velocity as well, because that's what it should be. So it should be like this. We should be getting something like this. So I don't know if these guys are still orbiting. See, that those guys should all be orbiting, like the gas giants and stuff. I don't know why they weren't. They should have been orbiting the sun still. But this is what we should be happening here. So 
Okay, so Uranus is moving in slowly but surely, and it looks like it's going to collide with the sun. So this guy is quite big as well, remember? It's quite a decent size compared to our little sun here, which isn't good. So let's go and see what sort of mayhem this can cause. So, oh, here it is. It's coming. The sun is... I don't know why the sun is moving so slow, but... Oh, it orbited the sun. Okay, that's very interesting because it's got 10 masses of sun. So at a very close by bit with the sun there. That's pretty peculiar. The sun is barely moving, actually, which is pretty strange, but... Is it going to have a collision or not? Is it just going to go round again? So let's try and speed this up a bit more. Let's put it on, let's put it on that. So, okay, is it going to... Can we speed that up more, please? Come on. It's pretty surprising that Pluto actually survived that um, getting roasted by the star. But yeah, there's Pluto. Iris. So some of the dwarf planets were eliminated, but other ones have survived, luckily, which is pretty cool. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, it's still... Still not running any faster. Okay, can we, is there anything we can do? I don't think there is, but hopefully it's coming back now. And then we're going to see what's going to happen here. So, yeah, so they're just in a very strange orbit. But these guys don't seem to be doing much. They're not on trail. See, they looks like they're still drifting away. So, will they drift away? That's the thing, though. It looks like they are. I don't think they're orbiting anymore. So, let's see what happens here. But I think this time, we're actually going to make it collide. So, if we put it to zero velocity... And put the sun to zero velocity, they should be on a collision course. Because that's what should have happened in the first place, I think. So, here we go. This is what we want. Okay, slow down time. Well, it's going too fast now. Slow down time. Okay, that's what we want. All right, now hit play. Okay, it's going a little too fast. Well, I can act. So, Uranus is about to collide with the sun here. And we're going to about to see a massive explosion. So, ooh, I'm assuming it's going to create a supernova. So,. Let's see what happens here. Come on, sun. Oh, the poor little sun. It's so small and cute. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. So, let's do this a little bit more. Oh, it's coming in. Oh. Okay, just a little further. Come on, speed up. Now, here we go. Traveling it a few hours here. So, oh, they're getting closer. They're getting really close. Uranus is spinning quite fast as well, actually. That's pretty crazy. So, oh, the sun's coming in. Oh, they're about to become one. The sun is right here. So it's about to go in. We can see it here. And it's... Oh, it's gone. It's, it's collided. So there's a sun nova remnant now. So the sun's gone. But is this going to create any... Problems? It looks like it's created... Is there a supernova in there? So there's a sun nova remnant. But is it... Is it inside it? What the... How is this sun still here? Is it even gone in yet? You can see it. Okay, it's gone in now, I think. But is it going to do anything? Looks like they're orbiting each other really weird. Let's just have a quick look at what's going on here. So, turn that off. What the heck is going on? Wait, is Uranus a gas giant? Wait, is it, What? No way that's a gas giant. How's it a gas giant? Well, it's lost all of its mass, apparently. Yeah, it is a gas giant. What? That is a big gas giant. Let's save that and let's see if we can keep it as a... Um, let's see if we can keep it as a big object, because that is a very big gas giant there. Okay, let's save that. So if we can get a gas giant this big, that'd be pretty crazy. Is it a star again? I don't even know what's going on. Its temperature's very hot. Apparently the sun's killing Uranus now. The sun's got a massive... It's stolen all the mass off Uranus somehow. Because now this has 10 massive... Uh, or 10 massive sun. That's what this guy had originally. So apparently Uranus loses the battle when the sun wins. So I don't know what's up with that. But the sun has apparently won. So what if we put it on zero velocity and then put this on zero velocity? Is it? Or zero velocity. So are they going to collide? Come on. That is very strange how the sun won that. What if we put realistic on? That, I think, there we go. Supernova. That's what should have happened. So, yeah. No idea why Uranus is a giant fragment now. But, yeah, that's what should have happened originally, I think. So, Supernova's gone off. And now all that's left is this very weird Uranus. It's very, very big, but it's a fragment, apparently. So, I don't know how that works. It's not got much mass, either, which is pretty crazy. It's a massive one moon. Can we turn it into a... Uh, rocky planet again there we go so put it to zero degrees so is this thing still even alive like what is going on here it's just got an iron core but is it a gas giant still zero degrees okay it won't even cool down so that's pretty strange but apparently the sun won because you saw that you saw it collide there the sun apparently won so there you go that is not good so that's that i guess guys the solar system's all breaking apart i don't know what was up with the objects this time because they just left the solar system instantly so pretty strange but 
I guess it's a different conclusion than um, previous episodes. So yeah, that's pretty good. So we don't like if it was the same thing over and over again. Pretty sure you guys get bored, but different conclusion for a change. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, and we should, or you should be expecting the video on Mars to come out soon. So I've got a lot of videos I need to get doing. So so many ideas I've got um, to be making videos on. So yeah, Mars will be coming soon. Hopefully, so that's good. Probably about next week, maybe sometime then. So let's delete that. Can we get this into a uh, zero degrees again? Okay, it won't even cool down. Yeah, so that's that's pretty weird. Yeah, but there we go, guys. So, yeah, see, it's still bigger than the sun, but apparently the sun still beat it when they collided, which is very, very weird. I don't know how it's done that. I'm guessing it wasn't realistic, like we had the realistic option turned off, but even so, still pretty weird it did that. But, yeah, next episode I won't use this menu, I don't think. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 1,200 subscribers. Should be pretty interesting. And make sure you, um, if you want me to do Mars into a star, then hit the like button. Not hit that. I'm going to leave a comment. That's what she said. Leave a comment and we can turn Mars into a star for the last, probably the last episode of this series because there's not really much other stuff we can do. I guess we can do some moons of the planets. I know some people wanted that, so I guess I can get around to doing that. But yeah, there we go. So, pretty interesting stuff. And now, I want to quickly see that big Uranus I saved. Can Is it what actually is it? Is it? Oh, it's just been turned into a little object now. That was a massive object earlier. Wait, no, has it? Wait, no. It still is. A, no, that still is a very large gas giant. Look at this thing. So we've got another glitched out object here. That's a gas giant. This should be a star. Look, it's bigger than the sun. Look at this thing. It's a star now because we just collided it. There, there we go. So we've got a very, very large glitch gas giant to play around with now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And yeah, it should be pretty interesting. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.